Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Monthly Economic Update where I'll try to explain to you in brief some of the new developments that took place during the month of August. On the domestic side, in terms of Sri Lanka's economy, we saw the central bank reducing interest rates for the second time this year. And it's a second policy cut since, it's, uh, since the original cut in uh, the month of May. Uh, the central bank cited the low growth environment, uh, both on the economic side and also in terms of private sector credit growth. And also what is going on externally with um, slowdown seen in most economies as well as um, some of the other central banks such as India uh, cutting interest rates to uh, spur economic growth in their individual economies. This results in uh, hopefully what the central bank again researches is GDP growth and uh, credit growth to uh, pick up in the next few uh, months. From the external point of view, uh, the central bank has seen uh, quite a bit of breathing space because of the decline in imports. Imports have fallen uh, about 2.1 billion, which has uh, seen a bit of reprieve uh, from the overall BOP perspective, the balance of payments, which is also in a healthy positive position for the first half of 2019. With the imports fall as well as the inflows that the central bank has got through uh, some of its international sovereign bonds that were raised this year. So putting it together, um, it does seem that the central bank and the economy uh, uh, in this perspective is expected to take off. But what we've seen in previous cycles, particularly in 2014, is that there is significant uh, lags. Uh, that does take place from when interest rates are cut to when the economy uh, moves forward. From what's going on globally, what we're noticing is uh, the US yield curve, the 10-year bond yield uh, declining under the two-year bond yield, which implies a yield curve inversion that typically in the past, as in particular the last five occasions, has seen the US economy moving into a recession. While there is concerns on this, there is mixed debate as to whether this, uh, this phenomenon happening during the month of August will be a leading indicator, but it's definitely uh, a cause for concern. In particular with what is going on in terms of international trade, we're seeing uh, the US-China trade war intensifying negotiations, uh, promising but then it's stalling as well and as a result we've seen both sides now putting uh, tariffs against each other uh, matching each other whenever there is uh, one side putting a high tariff uh, level on the goods that are imported. We're even seeing indicators such as the one put out by the World Trade Organization uh, indicating that uh, trade will also see a decline in area. So, Putting all this into context for Sri Lanka, especially in the next four months and leading up to uh, the election cycle, uh, it will be interesting to see how these external developments have an impact on the local economy. As always, stay tuned to economy.lk as we try to unbundle this and give you the insights that really matter.